what are your thoughts on using your main keywords and translating them into Spanish as I am selling into the USA marketplace and I believe a percentage of my customers will be speaking Spanish. All right, so, well, first and foremost, your belief is 100% right. Without a doubt, number of uh, Spanish speakers in the US. Without a doubt, a lot of your customers in America will be Spanish speaking. Now, half of that, so there's 53 people, 41 million native Spanish speakers in America, 41 million. Of those, 11 million are bilingual, which means a huge amount only speak Spanish. Think about that. They live in America, they only speak Spanish. So, what the hell does that mean? Well, what that means is there is a crazy, crazy opportunity, let me just pause my screen, uh, to be had selling your stuff on Amazon, but selling to Spanish speakers. There's a crazy opportunity to be, to be had doing that. It is nuts, and so few people do it, and it is absolutely crazy to consider it. So let's just have a look where we are. Here we are. Uh, in merchant words. So let's just go look at some search. And I'll show you what the hell I mean when I say it's a crazy opportunity. So let's start with a search. And we're going to do a, a search I've done before. Because this is something I've taught in Inner Circle quite a long time ago, by the way. So if you're in an Inner Circle like a year ago, you would have seen this a year ago. But it's, it's, it's still, nobody does it, and it's still a crazy opportunity. But if you're in Inner Circle a year ago, you would have had this a year ago. Anyway, hyaluronic acid. So massive search term, 8,000 results. You can see there's a lot of competition for it. Let's just go over to Merchant Words, see, the, see what's going on. Hyaluronic acid. See how many people search for that stuff. Every single month on Amazon. A hundred and, well, one million people every month searching for hyaluronic acid on Amazon. It's clearly a big search term. So now let's transfer that into Spanish. And let's go do it again. So that's, that's the English version of it. Let's go and look at the Acido Hyaluronica. Now, ignore this, 10,000 results. Ignore that, and I'll show you why in just a second. Because what happens is, I'll tell you why actually, Amazon, very, very cleverly, says, oh, you've searched in Spanish. That means you're actually looking for hyaluronic acid. I'll show you all of the things. So Amazon translates your search for you, all right? However, however, let's come back over here. Let's do that search on Merchant Words and let's go and see what Merchant Words says about it. Dun, dun, dun. 200,000 people, Spaniards, are searching for the Spanish version of that. 200,000, which I think we can all agree is a lot, is a lot. So, question for you, and this is a really, really important question. Let's suppose now that you lived in China and you don't speak Chinese. You can't speak Mandarin, you can't speak Cantonese. So you go to Amazon in China and you search for something on Amazon in China and you search in English. The results that come back, what are you looking for? Are you looking for results in Chinese or are you looking for results in English? Hopefully that is a completely redundant question and you'll realize immediately that what you want is English results. So let's come back over here. I have searched in Amazon.com in Spanish. So that means I'm looking for a Spanish answer. Now, where, where, where is the Spanish answer? Where is the Spanish answer? 
Where is it? 200,000 people every single month search for hyaluronic acid in Spanish and 200,000 people every single month have to sort through the results in English. Now, for me, that is a crazy, crazy, crazy opportunity. That's a crazy, crazy, crazy opportunity. It's just nuts. So, yes, Dominic, you could simply put some Spanish keywords in the back end of your listing, but you'd be much better off creating a whole new listing that you optimize and your images are in Spanish and your product packaging is in Spanish and you sell to Spaniards in America. I would say that is the much, much better option to go for if I were in your shoes. And this works, like I've shown you one, but good Lord, it is absolutely everywhere. If you go to Amazon in Germany, you'll see it there. If you go to Amazon in France, you'll see it there. It's everywhere and nobody does it and it's a ludicrous opportunity. It's just ludicrous. Anyway, that's a cool, if, if there aren't over a million potential products that I've just shown you just by doing that one thing, if that doesn't yield in your mind hundreds of potential opportunities to go after, Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business and the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon and indeed Anthony who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling as he puts it odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.